When you log into Schoolbox, the first thing you will see is the dashboard. Your dashboard is customised for your role by your school and gives you all of the information that you need for the day. In the top right hand corner is the search bar. The search bar in Schoolbox can be used to search for anything. You can use it to search for students, parents, teachers, for files, folders, links, news and events in the school. You can search for wikis, forums, blogs and anything written in a text box component. When you use the search bar to search for a user, you can then click on that user and visit their profile page. Depending on the type of user that you view, you will find different information. If you visit a student's profile page, you will be able to find their due work, their grades, their e-portfolio, their calendar, where you can add events yourself, and their timetable. You can also view all of the subjects they are studying, any extracurricular activities they are involved in, the contact information for their parents, and their emergency contact information. Next to the search bar in the top right hand corner also is a bell icon. This is where you can go to view your notifications. There are a lot of notifications that you can receive in Schoolbox. These can be set individually by each user, but also by the school. You can set what notifications you receive in Schoolbox and how you receive them in your settings area. Next to the notifications area, you will see your profile picture and your name. Clicking on these will allow you to do three things. The first is to log out. The second is to view your profile. And the third is your settings area. In your settings area, you can choose which groups you follow to receive notifications and also set how you receive notifications about certain things in Schoolbox. You will see that there are a lot of things you can receive notifications for in Schoolbox. The icons to the right of the notification options allow you to choose how you receive notifications in Schoolbox. The first icon allows you to turn off notifications for this type. The second icon allows you to add this type of notification to your email digest. The email digest is an email that you receive regularly and includes everything you choose to be notified about. The next icon gives you instant notifications. This means that you are notified directly in Schoolbox in the notifications area in the top right hand corner of your Schoolbox screen. The mobile icon allows you to turn on push notifications. This is only available if your school has a Schoolbox app. For more information about this, you can ask your super users. The last icon is the email icon. This means that every time this type of notification occurs, you will be emailed. The top menu in Schoolbox takes you to the main areas of Schoolbox. The Home tab takes you back to your dashboard. The News tab takes you to view any news that is relevant to you. You will learn more about news in future units. The Webmail tab is linked directly to your email address. When you click on it, you will be taken into your emails. The Calendar tab takes you to view your calendar within Schoolbox. You can choose how you view your calendar. You can view items as a list. You can view the calendar as a month, as a week, or as a day. There are different filters involved within the Schoolbox calendar. You can select or deselect any of these filters and it will alter what you see in your calendar. You can turn these off or on at any time. The Timetable tab takes you to view your personal timetable. The Resources area is the back end of Schoolbox. This shows the structure of how your Schoolbox is set up. Each user will see different things in this resources area depending on what they have permissions to view. 
The resources area is set up as a folder structure, just like any folder structure on your computer. The submissions area is where teachers can go to view student submissions. If you are a teacher, you will learn more about this in future units. The My Files area takes you to your own storage area within Schoolbox. This functions like Dropbox, Google Drive, or any other online storage area. The Drives tab gives you access to your school network drive. This can be accessed not only at school, but anywhere else as well. On the left-hand side of the page, you will find your side menu. The links at the top of the side menu are customised by your school and link you to areas within Schoolbox that are particularly important for you. Underneath these links, you will see the My Subjects area. This provides you direct links to all of your class pages. You will learn more about your class pages in future units. Underneath your subjects area, you will find the My Groups area. This will give you direct links to any groups that you are a part of. You will learn more about groups in future units. The final area on your side menu is the My Links area. This is an area where you can set up important links for you. These will only appear on your school box. If you liked this video, remember to hit like and subscribe to our Schoolbox YouTube channel.